Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carbo Gaming. Look, what if I told you there was a AAA game with a whole bunch of A-list actors, a AAA game with a golem, and they all made Metacritic's 10 worst most video games of 2023. Well, today, I'm going to show you my list of the worst games of 2023. Let's go, because they're not all what they have on your list. Well, to get it, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started off with the number five game, which I'm pretty sure some of you may like this, I may not, but it is Redfall. Redfall has made my list of the worst games of 2023. Here's why. Now, first off, let me tell you that I haven't played the new version of the game that's been updated, so it may actually be a whole lot better than when I played it, but at lunch, it was a shell of itself. And this was a huge party first game from Xbox. And well, it was a huge letdown. Just kind of dead. It looked decent, but it really wasn't a whole lot to do inside the game. And most of us agreed, as you can see from these Metacritic scores, but that was indeed the case. Now, coming in at the next spot, number four, is Crime Boss Rock A City. Look. This game had AAA written all over it. And it turned out to be, well, eh, not great at all. It reminded me of Payday, but it just wasn't fun at all. Yes, there was heist, there was classic memes inside the movie, and A-list actors as well. But it just turned out to be one of the worst games of the year. At least it was for me. And Metacritic agreed as well. Some of the worst scores on Metacritic of the year. Now, the next game, oh my god, is so bad. Lord of the Rings Golem. This game was straight trash, my dude. Now, the reason why I say it was straight trash is because, one, it wasn't fun. Two, it was like a simulator. You just ran around and did a whole lot of wall climbing and then cutscene. It was absolute horrible. And it's one of the worst games of the year. And Metacritic agreed on that as well as a whole bunch of other gamers when their reviews too when this game first came out. So yeah, definitely one of the worst games ever. And that's why it's coming in at that number three spot. Now, when it comes to the number two spot, it's Quantum Error. Like this game is absolutely horrible. I don't know why it was even up. There's parts of the game that just wasn't completed and it released like it was a triple-a game with the $60 price tag by far one of the worst game one of the most glitchiest games ever and on top of that the premise of the story I don't even know what it is because I couldn't even get past the tutorial didn't even post a video about this this how bad it was and yeah I don't know how this game was released but Metacritic agrees as well one of the worst games ever and one of the worst games of 2023, but it doesn't take the number one spot, which wasn't even on Metacritic's list. And you know what it is, the scam before. That's right, the day before is absolutely one of the worst games ever made. It was an absolute trash fire. And on top of that, it was a scam. And on top of that, they are just, oh my God, the glitches, <laughs> everything about this game was absolutely comical. It was so bad that Steam pulled it off their page. The game released and four days later it was taken down by the same company. And even though they have recommended reviews, they are all memes. Literally, there is not one review on this game that says it's good. It is absolutely not only the worst game of 2023, it is by far one of the worst games ever made. So even though we had some incredible games that came out in 2023, we absolutely had some of the worst games as well. So what do you think? That's my list of the top five games that are the worst in 2023. Let me know what your five is. That is mine. But for right now, that's pretty much going to be the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpal Game. Put a wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.